So here we are over at Jim's. I got a fence line feed area right along the road. So here's a pen of cull cows. We have all seen this before, right? We're all familiar with the fence line feed bunk. Well, what happens is you see how the cows, they can only reach up to this spot right here. And now we got the dribblings and the and this, this stuff here. And you can take your foot and you could do this and go along and you could push it up there. Show you what the wheel does. So that's how that works. It, this over here, since the road is so high and it's dropped down, you could see where the wheel was trying to spin backwards a couple times because it's higher over here. Back at our house where it's really flat, that thing works slick. This, I mean, obviously works really well here, but, uh, and then I, I did clean up this outer stuff first, trying to get it, try to get her cleaned up. But uh, anyways, that's the wheel. they are on energy they're they like to run now wherever they go they run they're getting they're getting way plenty of energy they're ready for their silage oh, last night I didn't feed them trying to get them on a morning schedule here we go kindergarten teacher that finally got all the kids to line up for the first time it takes a while to get them and of course this year when they're on self feeders and free choice prairie hay it's not like your bunk breaking them where you need them to come to the bunk every day to eat this is just a supplementation of their roughage they're getting to the point now where they're really liking the taste of that silage it's a bale of first cutting alfalfa so they pretty much 90% of them all want to come up there now and at least check it out so it looks pretty good when they all start lining up i'm going to feed the cows silage good shot of remensen i'm going to move the wire on the bales so they're going to get silage remensen and some bales and then later this afternoon i'm going to open the gate or i'm going to move the fence 
on the next strip of corn. We'll be setting these cows up for probably four days of no more chores after today, which is good. It's Friday today, so that'll give me Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I won't have to do nothing with the cows. Got the wagon loaded up for the cows. I got 7,500 pounds on for them cows where the bale grazing's at. I'm gonna bring my uh, bring my tester so I can shut the fence off, and when we after we feed them, we'll move the wire to the new bales. They get the silage aid, they'll go to the bales, I'll let them eat there for a while, and then we'll sneak over and put up another fence for the corn. Silage, a little bit of hay, then they'll have the corn opened up. It'll be good to go for three or four days. Let's go. There's the cows. I'm gonna try something uh, a little sketchy maybe, but I'm gonna feed right on the other, I'm gonna just feed along the wire and see if I can just dump it along the fence and make them eat underneath the wire or eat up against the wire and I don't have to go in there and uh, I don't know we'll see if they tip it over they should get shocked and that should help train them with the fence working where the crap so I'm in here now we'll make a few piles get them all spread out they're all jacked up they're full of energy anyways you can get a good look at this corn crop that's how they clean it up a little bit of stalks left but uh, look at all the manure there's a cow pie about every couple square feet get a lot of fertility because the cows are all standing in the same spot a lot when they're grazing this corn so there's lots of food in one area Over here about the bales now just the cows are right over the hill behind me here's what's left of this bale grazing site so I'm probably gonna run the fence probably right through one of these gaps right here over give them this half and then we'll have one more move over there so if you remember the first one it was muddy that's not ideal for bale grazing at all it's actually bad, real bad. The second move, it, the ground was frozen. That's way better. So now it'll be good from here on out. So I'd say overall, really nice, really nice coverage of the ground. Little spots of snow here where it didn't get filled in, but there's a fine line of having your bales too close and too far. This is about right, I would say. 25 feet, 30 feet apart. So, looks good. Move the fence. Right here, this chunk of corn. Cows are right over that hill. We need to run a fence right through this cut. We'll hook onto that post there and we'll run her through right on yonder. Let me show you how I hook my turbo wires up. This is a brand new spool, but I'm gonna get it off of here and put it on a Gallagher roll. Here's the wire, it's going this way. I'll pull it and try to find out how tight I want it. I want a little bit tighter than that. Make a loop in the wire that I could just take out also anytime. I put this loop in here with, this, with a pull deal to take it out. And I just have a short piece of wire and I just bend it on here like that. Now, we're good to go. And then what I'll do with this is I'll stick it on the wire and stick it on the end of this wire, keep it out of the grass. Like I said, I'm gonna unspool all this and put it on a Gallagher wooden spool. I put them on those Gallagher spools because I got a little tool. I'll show you that in a second when we're gonna wind that other roll up. This guy here slips on a Gallagher roll and then I put a drill on this end and uh, can wind up. All right, we got this fence up. 
I'll go over here and take down the other fence and let them in here. And then I'll show you how I wind that wire up without having to walk the whole way. We'll have to walk a little bit to let them in where the spool is because I can't lower the wire down. They'll run over top of the wire when they start coming. So, so I'll park the pickup here, get them to all come to me, and then I'll wind the wire up to the pickup, which is back behind us, the end. And then it'll all be tight and they'll have to come around the pickup to get in here. <laughs> Turns out cows like corn, huh? There we go. I'll come back to here, and then uh, this is how I spin it out, just like that. There's a rod that goes in that hole that makes a turn. Anyways, let's go pull the post out. I like that it's mobile because then we can do like we just did where we made a gate or if I got to walk up through some snow or something I can carry this with me versus having something mounted on a pickup. The Gallagher spools work good though. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. I said thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. Get out of here. <laughs>